So, Gail, the sunlight is glinting off the knob on the poemia so that it looks very sort of angelic. And, oh, this one here? Oh, yeah. yeah it's got that. It's, it's, got the it's like all the twinkle on the teeth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. So this is a poemia in uh, Seiko Phillips, or Phillips Seiko, uh, Burgrinder combination. And, and this is the technically the poemia class, which makes yes, it the two-tone. Yeah, it's black plastic over here where the other one has this brush stainless all around. And uh, then it's got the face and yep. of the stainless. So, okay. Yeah, the class. And this is not sold separately. It's only sold in the package this deal. Is two little dudes together. Two little dudes. Okay. So what you? Wh uh, why don't we just go through specs and stuff, and then we sure. can do a demo. Yep. Does that sound good. Yep. Stainless right. steel boiler in this bad boy. Pressurized porta filter. Uh, that what makes this a little different than the Via Venezia or the Aroma? This is made out of aluminum versus there. The other ones are made out of chrome plated brass. Okay. The baskets on the inside are still the same. It's still a uh, 53 millimeter pressurized. It's stainless steel basket with the pressurized system is in the porta filter itself. Okay. That little nipple opens up at a right amount of pressure. And you can upgrade to the uh, non pressurized if you want. Yep. Okay. Cost as much as the machine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a uh, Panarello steam arm here, which means that it has a little. Where's the little hole? Where's the little dude? I think it's like a. I think it's a connection. There it is. Oh. It's right there. It's hard to see. Yeah. But there's a little hole, and that's where the air goes in and gets injected into the milk. Oh, we can see it there. Okay. And this is a finger guard, so you don't burn yourself. And this just goes horizontal back and forth. You have your steam control right here. This is how you whoop. That's how you make a puddle on the yeah. countertop. <laughs> and then and then your shot uh, is just on here. Yep. Let me get this back into the machine. Shot on to the left, steam to the right. So if you turn that knob right there without the steam, it's just hot water coming out of the one. Correct. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that, like I just did. <laughs> <laughs> back here is where your water tank is. Fairly good size water tank for the, for the size, size of the machine. Yeah. Looks like about, eh, I'm going to guess around 40 ounces or so. Okay. On this machine, you'll notice that there's a line right here. Line there. If mm -hmm. for some reason you don't get the water tank in all the way, this is the connection. It okay. will poke that up and let water go all over your countertop. And we've so had some get, fun with that. <laughs> so you make sure when you push this in that you push you it really down push it all down. the way so that the top of the tank is just below the line. Okay. Up here is storage for your scoop slash tamper, which this is a self-tamping machine. So you might want to do it to finish it. Or, you know, the other thing people say, I don't need to tamp this, and I say, well, if your coffee's old, if it's yes, older, give it a little, yep. or if you get pre-ground and it happens to be a little too coarse, mm -hmm. you could kind of give it a little pressure. Yep, and this is the single basket, and inside the single basket sitting in here, which I can't get out, it's just storage there. This is for using pods. Um, well, you have to use this for it regardless. Whoa. Whoa. Well, you have to use that regardless with, with the single, single basket. Yes, yeah, do. pods or grounds. That's yeah. true. Yep. So that goes there, that goes there. A little cup warmer, actually. Mm -hmm. You can feel it. It's just passive from the... Uh, from the boiler. From the boiler, yep. All right. And that's basically it. Here's okay. the grinder. Take off the lid. We have burrs. It's a burr grinder. Mm-hmm. Nothing too technical about that. Bucket on the floor. You're I kicking, know. Kicking that bad boy around. <laughs> Get out of here. Nasty. This is the on off button right here. Grounds catcher down here. Now you cannot put the porta filter under here and grind into it because it grinds into the back of this. Right There's there. the chute right there. Okay. Yep. Um, and then your grind adjustment is this dial on the front? Yep. Uh, well, no, this is oh. the grind adjustment over here. Oh, and that's dosage. Fine. Yeah, it's a timer. Oh, okay. Yep. Goes all the way over to course, and we're going to see how fine this bad boy goes. Put some beans in it, and, and then turn it on. See, so that's, that's your how much, and then you, dook. and it keeps going. And we notice that when you, if this is on, you pull this out, it stops, which is a nice fail safe. <laughs> yep, there's a button under there. <laughs> okay, so let's pause. We'll get our our all our business ready, huh? We're going to make us cappuccino. Okay. All right. So we're going to get it ready to steam there, Gramtastic. Yeah, turn it over to steam and wait for the light. When that light comes on, it's ready to go. I know you can't see it because <laughs> of the sun. Oh, you yeah. can see a little bit of a difference now. Okay. I can see the top one is green. <laughs> if you get way down, now, bend over, cat. <laughs> hey, Gail, that's no way to talk to me in a workplace, at least. <laughs> um, well, okay. we're waiting for that. Let's see how fine this goes. Okay. We've got it on the fine. It's looking for 
pretty loose. <laughs> and stampy. Yeah. Let's just see. <laughs> Whoopsie. Well, I meant to do that, but I didn't mean to do that. Oh, look at my hands. <laughs> Here, hold your hand up. There you go. Excuse me, Gail. Yeah. It's a little finer than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I mean, you're not going to be able to use this in a traditional machine, but it's going to work just fine with your pressurization. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. See if we're ready here. Yeah, see that light is on. Gail, where should I put? Right there. Mm. Right there. Here. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> Take her out. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you don't know, folks. You just Poor don't know. Clean my hands, yeah. Gail. Oh, it's like, okay, whatever. Come on. I'm just not left handed no matter how. You <laughs> All right. Let's pull some pretty good steaming power right out of the chute. So, this guy, you're just kind of chilling, and then. At some point, you're going to try and submerge that little, that intake hole, right? If I have to, yeah. If, you, if you're getting too much foam. If or... you get too much foam, if, yeah, you get the milk above that hole that we showed earlier, it'll stop putting air into it. Okay. Yeah. And then you're just heating it. It's got a good swirl to it. Not bad. Get your swirl on, Gail. Let me see. Yeah, well. I'm doing what I can. Yeah. There we go. Looking good. Back up a little. Right. Okay. I didn't get a lot of foam, but I got some. I it was kind of it was wet, painty. Yep. All works. right. Okay, let's give a squirt here. Give a wipe. I'm gonna start with that, Gail. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll move to the cappuccino. <laughs> Well, that light is on. It's ready to blow. You are patient over here waiting. The milk. Thanks, Gail. Yeah. Not oh, bad. I mean, it's a pressurized system. What are you going to yeah. do? Yeah, it is. I mean, well, it could have gone a lot faster. Yeah, A, B, left side. Even though you didn't tamp it, Gail, it was kind of suffering there for a moment. Hey, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Like my granddaughter used to say when she was little. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! I don't think we got much for foam here. I think you can... Oh, a butterfly. Ooh, yeah, a butterfly. A little bit of a flower situation going oh, yeah. on, Gail. Yeah. All right. That's a larger cup. I, I fear there may not be enough coffee in there for you, Grammy. You're right. <laughs> a little more color. Oh, I can call it. I can call it. Mm -hmm. You can okay. tell by the color, too. <laughs> so, um, this is the Poemia Class and Burr Grinder package. <sighs> Combo. So, and if you're looking for a nice little entry level setup, it yep. doesn't take up a lot of space on your countertop. Right. The other thing you get with this, it does not have the three way solenoid valve, so you will have a soupy puck. Yeah. Soupy. You expect that. But if you had taken that out, right away it would have been very soupy so if you do yes. let it hang out for just you know even 30 seconds before you remove it or a minute or two it it'll helps. it'll be much drier yeah, yeah that's true so. I, I confess you're right i'm glad gail yep. i'm glad i was able to tell you how it is <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's nothing new, folks. <laughs> All right. That's See. why we love Cap, because she's here for us. <laughs> yes, you hit the camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Gail. You're welcome.